I'm so excited to be here. I'm honored. We have been planning this for a year and I can't wait to ask you 73 questions. Let's do it. Okay, so first, can you tell us who are you? Yeah, so I'm Katie. I'm a senior at Cornell University studying information science and I'm from Manila, Philippines. Yes, and she's my friend. <laughs> so Katie, what are you passionate about? Ooh, I think technology, entrepreneurship, and creativity, and using all of those to uplift communities I care about. Oh, beautiful. So what's your most impressive achievement? I think in the past year, starting an education nonprofit for IB students. Oh my God, she's so impressive. So why did you choose Cornell? I chose Cornell because it was totally outside my comfort zone. Mm, how so? Weather, I grew up in a tropical place, Cornell's Four Seasons, and it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's very nature-y compared to the city life I had back home. Got it, so you happy you chose Cornell? I'm so happy. Yay! One to 10, how similar is Cornell to how universities are displayed in movies? One, nothing like it. 10, identical. Five. Okay, so what is Slope Day? I've heard so much about how it's amazing. Can oh you gosh. please elaborate? Yes, yeah, Slope Day is so lit. It's this outdoor concert we have. We usually get a big headliner at the end of classes and it, everyone is just so lit. Awesome. So if you had to choose a song to describe your college experience, what song would you choose? Pursuit of Happiness by Steve Aoki. Oh, great choice. What's your all-time favorite thing about Cornell? I think these days, the nature. Oh yes, it is so nice and grainy. What's a Cornell stereotype that holds true? Workaholics. Mm, where are we right now? We are in Arts Quad. Okay, can you show me a little bit more? I'd love to. Oh my God, let's do it. So is this your favorite place on campus? It's not. <laughs> okay, where's your favorite place? I love the Slope or the Lindseth Climbing Center. Okay, I heard we're heading towards the Slope. We I'm are. very excited to see it. So I also heard there's wine tasting here at Cornell. What is that? Yes, it is an iconic wines course. I'm finally enrolled in it this semester. So a lot of seniors will go to this course and we'll get to taste like six wines. What? Oh, I'm so jealous. So also I heard about an ice cream class. What's that? Yes. I also took the ice cream class and you basically join a group of people and make ice cream. What? <laughs> you guys are like cold stone. No, Cornell Dairy Bar. So rate your dining hall experience one to 10 for me. Eight. Okay. What's the best dining hall on campus? I like Rose. Okay. Where, what's the worst thing you've ever ate in the dining hall? Low-key, probably anything at RPCC. <laughs> <laughs> anything specifically? Um, I... I think maybe the pancakes are a little disappointing. Oh no. What's the go-to place for late night snacks though? Nasties. Nasties. What clubs are you involved in? Right now I'm part of Cornell Design Tech Initiative, Annabelle's Grocery, which is a student run grocery store, and Cornell Creatives, which my friends and I actually started. Oh my God, you congrats. That's so cool. So who's your ride or die on campus? Tara and Angela. Hi, Tara and Angela. Is there Greek life on campus? Yes. Are you a part of a sorority? I am not. Okay, do you experience any FOMO? Nope. If you had to guess, what percentage of your campus is involved in Greek life? 33%. Oh, exactly. Okay, which house does the best parties? To be honest, my best parties have not been hosted by frats. Oh, what has been hosted by? Block parties, so like friends. Okay, so how often do people go out to party here at Cornell? Say one to, tw one to two times a week. Okay, what is a typical party outfit? Crop top and jeans. How late do the parties run until? Like one, maybe two. Are there any themed parties here at Cornell? Yes. What's been your favorite? Hollow weekend is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> if your school was in alcohol, would it be a fine wine, scotch, beer, or tequila? White Claw. <laughs> and why? It's like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Does Cornell have any unique traditions? Sledding down Live Slope in the winter. What? Oh my gosh. How many snow days do you guys usually have a year? I had one in total in the past three years. Wow, what's the typical temperature usually? Um, Below 30, I would say like 15 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, death. How late do your library stay open? Three. How many are on campus? Three main ones on Hope Plaza and a bunch scattered around. Are they social or silent? Mostly silent, but the Statler one is social. Okay, which one's your favorite? Statler. Okay, Statler. Where's your favorite place to study just in general? My room, I mean, <laughs> for the past year. <laughs> ah, yes, shout out COVID. What's your typical class size here at Cornell? Ranges, like my STEM classes are 300 and then my English classes 16. Okay, how many hours of homework do you do a day? Four. 
do you, you get a lot of sleep? A lot. Would you say you're ever sleep deprived? No, I love sleep too much. Best tip for juggling social life and school? Stay open-minded and remember that the memories that count in college are the ones that you do spontaneously, not studying oftentimes. Yes, I definitely agree. One to 10, how attractive is your student body? Pretty attractive, I like okay. it. Hookups or ships, what's the dating culture like? You can find everything. Like the dating scene here is so diverse. Oh, I love that. Which athletic team has the most clout? Hockey and wrestling. Okay, is there fashionistas on campus? A lot. <laughs> really? One to 10, how would you rank your school spirit? 10. Yes. How much do you walk a day? I average 8,000 steps. Oh my gosh. So do you ever use a bike, skateboard, or scooters? I don't, but I do have friends who do. I think most people drive. Oh, okay. How would you describe the vibe of your campus? Work hard, play hard. Hey, how athletic would you rank it from Olympian to part-time couch potato? I think you either get one or the other. <laughs> Rare to get an in-between. Do you have to dress up to go to class or can you just bum it? Nah, bum it. <laughs> What's the typical temperature during the summer? Ooh, sorry, I gotta think in Celsius here because I'm an international student, but like 25. Okay, that's okay. Is there an article of clothing that you see everybody on campus wear? Not clothing, but a lot of people will have pins or keychains on their backpack to personalize. Oh, cute. Do you have one? Do I? Oh, I have hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that works too. What's an essential item to bring to campus when you're moving in? Package opener. Oh, how often do you leave campus? Every weekend. Do you feel safe walking through campus by I yourself? Do. Okay, what year are people allowed to move off campus? After first year. How close is the nearest airport? 10 minutes. Oh, very close. Fill in the blank. If I had known blank about my school, I would have never chosen it. The pre-professional culture. Mm. What's the most embarrassing thing you've seen somebody do on campus? My first year neighbor was passed out in her bathroom completely naked and she was using the toilet seat as a pillow. Oh, cute. <laughs> have you seen any celebrities on campus? Steve Aoki. Oh, that's a good one. Doja Cat came too. Oh, okay. Who's your favorite alumni? RBG. Do you feel like all socioeconomic classes are represented here at Cornell? I think so. It's very broad spectrum. Good. How often do you see the president of Cornell? I've never. Maybe more in memes. Wow. Do you think you've met a future millionaire? Probably current millionaires. <laughs> oh, is your school academically competitive or do you guys help each other out? I think it's more collaborative, but it just naturally becomes competitive because everyone's so ambitious. Mm, I can only imagine. Do the majority of kids on campus want to change the world or just be rich? Both, 50-50. Do most graduates you know leave with jobs? Very lucrative. <laughs> if you could change one thing about your school, what would you change? I wish more people knew that they could have lives outside campus. Mm, good one. Number one tip for success here at Cornell. Be open-minded. Cornell's in Ithaca. How do you like the area? I love it, especially after being here all summer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is your school clicky? No, you can break through any friend group at any year level, I think. Oh, that's amazing. Is your campus diverse? Yes. Okay, does it need more diversity? It can always do better. Yes. Describe the best party you've ever been to here at Cornell. It was a block party at the end of the semester where it started to rain. And so we all got out our swimsuits and just started dancing in the rain. And <laughs> because there was a slope, it turned into a mudslide where people just started. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> So, big question here. Do you think Cornell is the best university? For me, yes. Okay, why do you think Cornell chose you? Probably because I had a lot of different interests and I wanted to give back to the community. I love that. So, do you think everybody watching this video should apply? Definitely. Do your research before you choose here, though. Okay, thank you so much, Katie. Thank you, Tom. Bye. Bye.